No. Itong um, mga susunod na word problems involving related rates, uh, medyo mas complicated siya dun sa mga naunang examples na ginamit ko. Kasi dito, kailangan nating hanapin yung isa sa mga variables bago tayo makapag-solve ng uh, related rates problem. So, in this problem, sliding ladder problem, um, a ladder 10 uh, feet long rest against the wall. And the question is, if, a, if the bottom of this ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 1 a uh, foot per second, how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the bottom of the ladder is 6 feet from the wall? So, unang-una, -una, kailangan yung ma-visualize ko ano ba yung tinatanong sa problem. So, uh, ladder against the wall. So, makakabuti na i-drawing nyo yung uh, sketch ng word problem. So, ito yung ladder ko against the wall. At slide daw yung ladder pababa. So, ito yung ladder nyo. Hanba, ito yung ladder nyo nagsaslide daw yung ladder, tapos pag nagslide siya, syempre nag-iiba yung height nung ladder nyo from the wall. So, yan, mapapansin nyo, nag-iiba. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin dito is yung rate of change nung pag-iba-iba nung uh, um, distance nung ladder habang bumababa siya. Habang nagsaslide siya, pababa. So, pag nagslide yung ladder, bumapapunta dito, bumababa din yung, um, yung uh, measurement nung height nung uh, ladder nyo against the wall. So, since dito, kailangan uli natin yung tatlong uh, um, summary. Ano yung given equation? Ano yung given rate? At ano yung kailangan natin hanapin? Now, yung equation dito, hindi explicitly given. Pero ang alam natin, na kapag magamit tayo ng right triangle, Pythagorean theorem yung laging associated sa mga word problems na yan. At uh, totoo naman na Pythagorean theorem yung kailangan natin, hindi yung area ng triangle kasi hindi naman hinahanap yung area. Ang hinahanap natin is yung height ng uh, uh, ladder against the wall. So, ito yung diagram ko. Yung ladder ko is 10 feet. Tapos, yung bottom ng ladder yung sa ilalim, 6 feet yung layo niya mula dun sa wall. So, ito yung mga given. Itong hypotenuse at saka yung um, isa sa mga legs ng right triangle. So, Pythagorean theorem yung gagamitin natin formula which is hypotenuse squared is equal to leg squared plus leg squared. So dito, given naman yung um, equation, 10 squared is equal to x squared plus y. Wherein yung uh, x nyo is given, which is 6. So mamaya gagamitin natin or isisimplify natin yan. Tapos yung given rate, um, eh, yung uh, rate ng pag-usad uh, uh, ng ladder pababa, which is dx over dt. Yung dx over dt nyo is 1 feet per second. So ito yung given rate. Ang hinahanap natin is yung rate nung pagbaba, yung itong rate na to ang hinahanap natin, yung rate nung pagbaba ng ladder against the wall kapag ka nagsaslide siya. Pero ang given, yung x value niya is 6 feet. So yung x mo is itong horizontal, um, horizontal line which is 6. So yun yung mga um, given dun sa equation. Now, Hindi mo agad-agad magagamit yung formula na to tulad ng ginawa natin before sa mga examples na pinakita ko sa last video. Nakukunin mo lang yung uh, derivative ng both sides, okay na. Ang magiging problema natin dyan, dalawa yung variables na kulang natin. Kailangan natin hanapin yung mga variables na yan. Alam lang natin yung x, pero yung y hindi natin alam. Pero sa Pythagorean theorem, masusolve natin yung y. So yun yung added step dito sa word problem na yan. Uh, instead of... Pag kunin nyo na yung uh, derivatives ng both sides right away, may pa kayong step or isang step na kailangan gawin. At yun yung paghanap ng y value. So paghanap ng y value, use the Pythagorean theorem, ito yung triangle ko, given yung hypotenuse ko is 10, at yung isa sa mga legs is 6, kailangan ko lang hanapin yung y. So Pythagorean theorem, I solved it na y is equal to 8. So itong missing side na yan is equal to 8. So ngayon na kompleto na yung triangle natin, pwede na tayong kumuha ng derivatives. Magiging mas madali na yung pag-solve ng um, related rates problem natin kapag kompleto yung mga variables natin. So ito yung equation. 100 is equal to x squared plus y squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem or the Pythagorean theorem formula. So yung susunod na step, kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng both sides with respect to time. So implicit differentiation yung gagamitin natin. So, yung una, uh, derivative ng 100 with respect to time, derivative of x squared with respect to time, and the derivative of y squared with respect to time. Kaya siya, ganito yung notation. So, take note of those notations kasi mahalaga sa calculus na alam niyo yung mga notation na ginagamit natin. At naiintindahan niyo kung bakit ko sinulat yung mga yan. So, ang derivative ng constant is 0. 
ang derivative ng x squared is 2x dx over dt. Kaya ako sinulat yung dx over dt kasi magkaiba yung variable. Implicit differentiation yung tawag dyan. So, nagkuha yung implicit differentiation with, res with respect to x, kaya 2x, with respect to time, kaya naging 2x times dx over dt. Tapos itong second term nyo naman, which is y squared, magkaiba uli ng variable, implicit differentiation, you have 2y dy over dt. So, ngayon na ito na yung equation nyo or derivative function nyo, okay, um, madali nang mahanap yung um, equation or function na kailangan nyo hanapin sa related rates, which is yung dy over dt. Ayan na siya. So, obvious na na masosolve nyo na yung problem by substitution. So, yun yung ginamit ko. Alam ko yung value ng x, alam ko yung value ng y, kasi and, andun yun sa given, 10 at saka 8. Alam ko rin yung dx over dt. dx over dt, kasi given din siya. So, ang hinahanap ko is dy over dt, so masosolve ko na yung um, related rates problem. So, substitution, I have 0 equals 12 plus 16 dy over dt. By simplifying it, get rid of 12 by subtracting 12 on both sides. Tapos, kailangan yung, uh, yung dy over dt by itself, so you divide both sides by 16. So, you have dy over dt is equal to negative 3 over 4. So, ngayon, nasolve yun na yung related rates problem. Yung rate of change, nung pagbaba ng ladder, mula dun, uh, yung height ng ladder against the wall, is negative 3 over 4. So, the ladder is sliding from 6 feet at the base at the rate of negative 0 0.75 feet per second. So, yan yung pag-solve ng sliding ladder problem. At ipapakita ko yung summary nung ginawa natin para mas makuha nyo yung uh, setup nito equation na to. So, ito yung sliding, word, um, sliding ladder problem. At ito yung equation natin. So, yan yung visual ko. So, bumababa yung ladder uh, at hanapin natin yung rate of change nung uh, y kasi yun yung kailangan natin. So, sinet up ko yung equation ko. 10 feet yung ladder ko tapos yung base ko is 6 feet na nagsaslide. At kailangan kong hanapin yung mga equation, given rate, at saka yung ano ba yung hinahanap sa word problem. Yung equation ko dito is Pythagorean theorem which is 10 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Yung given rate ko is dx over dt which is 1 foot per second. Tapos yung kailangan kong hanapin is dy over dt o yung pag-change ng height uh, with respect to time sa pag-slide ng ladder. Na given yung x value ko is 6 feet. Now, nakuha ko yung y is equal to 8 using the Pythagorean theorem at pinakita ko yun kanina. So, dapat alam nyo kung paano ko nakuha si x at saka yung si y. So, ngayon, hahanapin ko na yung uh, um, dy over dt by taking the derivative of both sides. So, d derivative ng 10x squared, derivative ng x squared, at derivative ng y squared with respect to time. Letter D dapat yung sa letter C. So, wag nyo nang pansinin yun. So, uh, um, derivative ng constant is 0. Derivative ng x squared is 2x dx over dt. And derivative ng y is 2y dy over dt. Simplifying my equation or substitution, meron tayong 2 times 6 times 1 plus 2 times 8 dy over dt. So, alam nyo na kung paano na, nakuha si 6, si 1, at si 8. Nandun yun sa uh, word problem natin kanina. So, by simplifying using algebra, alam na natin si dy over dt is negative 3, 4, or 3 over 4 feet per second. So, therefore, the ladder is sliding from 6 feet at the base at a rate of negative 3, 4 feet per second. So, yan yung pag-solve ng sliding ladder. So, itong susunod naman nating word problem, uh, water in a cone problem. So, lagi din tayong makaka-encounter ng cone problem doon sa related rates. At ito yung isa sa mga example ng pag-solve ng word problems involving a tank na cortex uh, cone, tapos tumataas yung tubig, ano yung rate ng pagtaas ng tubig. So, uh, kaya exciting ang pag-solve ng um, word problem sa calculus dahil sa mga yan. Kasi mas uh, dynamic siya. Hindi na lang siya anong sukat ng cone, anong area ng cone, anong volume ng cone, etc. So, dito sa word problem to, um, the water runs into a conical tank at a rate of 9 cubic feet per minute. The tank stands point down and has a height of 10 feet and a base of 5 feet. How fast is the water level rising when the water is 6 feet deep? So, ito yung illustration ko ng word problem. Uh, sabi daw doon, yung cone ko is pointing down. So, uh, ito yung uh, cone ko na parang sorbetes. Or cone ng sorbetes. So, uh, meron daw siyang uh, um, radius na 5 feet. 
mula dun sa base nung uh, 10 feet na cone, syempre yung base niya, so hindi naman base yung tip, ang base na dapat is yung nandun sa taas. So yung base nung circle mo is 5 uh, feet, so yun yung radius mo, tapos yung height ng cone is 10 feet. Tapos given din tayo yung height ng water na nag-start. So nag-start tayo sa 6 feet um, deep na water. Tapos dito sa given word problem na to, um, tumataas yung tubig kasi sabihin na natin na meron niyang uh, faucet dyan. Okay, lagyan natin ng faucet. At may tubig na, na dumadagdag doon sa cone. So, ano daw yung rate ng pagtaas ng tubig? So, yun yung hinahanap natin. So, set up ulit. What is the given equation? What is the given rate? At ano yung kailangan natin hanapin? So, yung given equation, hindi talaga given kasi kailangan alam nyo yung uh, formula ng volume of, ng, ng cone. So, ito binigay ko na volume is 1 third pi r squared times h. So, yan yung volume or formula ng vo volume ng cone dapat alam nyo. So, minsan, binibigay yung formula minsan or kadalasan, hindi binibigay yung formula kapag ka related rates problem na yung pinag-uusapan. Tapos, yung given rate natin is yung pag-change ng volume with respect to time, which is 9 uh, cubic feet per minute. Tapos, we need to find the uh, rate of change ng height kasi tumataas. So, rate of change ng height, dh, with respect to time, dt. So, yun yung kailangan natin at alam natin nag-start yung tubig sa 6 feet. So, ang una natin gagawin at ang unang gusto kong uh, mapansin nyo is minsan yung mga formula na ginagamit natin, isa lang yung variable na nando, nandun sa formula. Minsan naman, dalawa, minsan, tatlo. Itong uh, formula ng volume ng uh, cone na to, meron tayong dalawang variables. So, tulad ng uh, sinasabi ko, kailangan hanapin natin or gawan natin ng paraan na mahanap natin values nung uh, uh, variable na yun. Or, dito, in this case, gagawin kong in terms of R yung H para iisa na lang yung variable ko. So, dito, um, iti-change ko, i-manipulate ko yung formula in such a way na isang variable na lang yung gagamitin ko. Either H or R. Kasi, yun ang kailangan natin gawin sa pagkuha ng derivatives tungkol dito sa problem na to. So, ito yung ginamit ko. So, ito yung volume ng, uh, ng, ng cone, 1 third pi r squared times h. So, dalawa yung variable. Ang gagawin ko is, papaltang ko si h, gagawin ko siya in terms of r. At paano ko siya gagawin? Alam ko na yung r, o yung ratio ng um, radius at ng height is 5 is to 10. So, ginamitan ko siya ng ratio and proportion r is to h is equal to 5 is to 10. Para mag -isa, maging isa na lang yung variable ko. I-multiply ko si h dito sa second variable by ratio and proportion. Now, my new formula for r is r equals 1 half h. So, 5 over h all over 10, simplify your equation, 1 half h. So, ngayon, since ang r ko ngayon ay 1 half h, pwede ko siya ngayon i-substitute doon sa value. So, ang mangyayari, isa na lang yung variable ko. So, uh, mapapansin nyo dito, from r squared h, meron akong 1 half h squared times h. So, medyo tricky itong uh, um, setup na to na minsan may encounter nyo yung problem na ganyan. So, ito yung ginawa ko. So, change ko yung uh, variable into one variable. Ngayon, meron akong 1 half h squared. Simplify ko yung formula. Naging volume is equal to 1 third pi times 1 fourth h squared times h. Simplifying it, 3 times 4 is 12. Tapos, h squared times h is h cubed. So, ito na ngayon yung bago kong formula ng volume. Na, iisa na lang yung variable. So, from formula ng volume na dalawa yung variable, ngayon meron akong formula ng uh, volume na iisa na lang yung variable. Base dun sa ratio ng given problem. So, pwede mag-iba-iba yan, depende sa size ng cone nyo. So, hindi laging 1 over 12 h or pi h cubed ang formula ng volume ng cone. So, pwede na ako ngayon mag-gamitin uh, ko yung usual step na ginagamit natin sa related rates problem. Pagkuha ng derivative ng both sides with respect to time. So, implicit differentiation for V, I have dV over dt. And then, implicit differentiation ko for h cubed. Kasi yung 1 over 12 pi, a constant. So, isinet aside ko siya. Ginawa ko lang siya pi over 12. Tapos, derivative ng h3 is 3h squared. 
dh over dt. So, ito ngayon yung aking derivative function. So, after kunin ng derivative function, balik ulit dun sa summary mo and then substitution method. So, you have dv over dt is pi over 4h squared dh over dt. At ang hahanap mo ngayon dito is yung uh, um, dh over dt. So, to manipulate your um, formula using algebra at have dh over dt by itself, nakita nyo na yung dh over dt is equal to 9 over 9 pi, which is 0 0.318. So, using your calculator, ang uh, nasagot na natin itong rate of change problem. So, the water level is rising at a rate of 0.318 feet per minute from 6 feet of water. So, yan yung solution. So, again, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo ulit yung word problem, step by step, tapos uh, para makita nyo yung kung paano kong ginamit yung formula. So, ito yung um, word problem. Water in a cone. So, yan yung word problem. Merong uh, conical tank, 9 cubic feet per minute, and so on. Uh, Na-establish ko na yan kanina. Ito yung illustration ko. Given ka ng radius. Given ka ng height ng cone. Height ng cone is 10 feet. Ang radius ng cone dun sa base is 5 feet. At alam din natin yung height ng water na nasa loob ng uh, tank na nag-start sa 6 feet. Ang hinahanap natin ay yung rate ng pag-akyat ng tubig doon sa cone. So, ang given equation, hindi talaga given, pero dapat alam nyo yung formula ng uh, uh, volume ng cone, which is 1 third pi r squared h. Yung given rate is dv over dt, which is 9 cubic feet per minute. Tapos, ang kailangan nyo hanapin is yung uh, height or yung derivative ng height with respect to time or yung pag-change ng height, pagtaas ng height with respect to time when h is equal to 6 feet. So, yan yung setup natin. Hanapin na natin yung word problem. So, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, meron tayong r and h. Ang goal natin is to have one variable and to do that, kailangan natin ng ratio and proportion. r over h, since alam natin yung uh, proportion ng uh, cone is uh, 5 over 10, uh, by having r by itself, pwede kong i-multiply yung both sides by h. So, meron akong r is equal to 1 half h. And then, sa subset ko sa formula, kasi ang goal ko magkaroon lang ng one variable, kaya ito na yung new equation ko ng volume ng cone using a single variable. So, now, volume is equal to 112 pi h cubed. At ngayon, na simple na yung formula ko, kukunin ko na yung derivative ng both sides. So, derivative ng v with respect to time at derivative ng um, h cubed with, with respect to time. So, implicit differentiation dv over dt is equal to 1 over 12 pi. Tapos yung h nyo, syempre, kunin nyo yung derivative niya uh, using implicit differentiation. Your equation now is 3h squared dh over dt. Now, by substitution method, makukuha natin na yung uh, dh over dt is simply 9, etc. Use algebra to simplify your equation. Have dh by itself. Ang dh over dt nyo is 0.318 uh, feet per minute. Yun yung rate of change ng height doon sa cone. So therefore, in your conclusion, the water or uh, the, yeah, the water level is rising at 0.318 cubic feet per minute uh, from 6 feet of water. So yan yung solution doon sa water in the cone. So yan yung uh, dalawang problems na sinolved natin for today.